we have here is our uh, testing device, which is a little bit like a rat trap. And here we have our competitor's grease, which is a sort of off-the-shelf generic lithium-based grease, the red one. And then our multi-purpose high load grease uh, to compare against. And you can see I've got a, a protective layer here because I'm not sure how that product's going to perform. I'm just going to pull the lever here. It's going to put some load on both those greases in equal amount. And we'll see what happens. So you can see pretty clearly, especially when I bring that rat trap back, that lever back, all the grease has splattered around, whereas it really has stayed in place there. And if I take a little bit of the grease, just put it between my fingers, and you can see how that's sticking together. The reason being is all the additives we put in there, in particular in this case, the adhesive cohesive polymers, which means the grease will stick not only to the surface, but also to itself, as you can see. So this next demonstration I want to show you is how the grease performs under temperature. This could be ambient temperature, this could be the temperature of a fast moving piece of equipment or machinery, or it could be the grease near a high heat source, which is what we're going to do for this example. So we have the red lithium based grease I did earlier, and also our multi-purpose high load grease. We're just going to take this torch and melt some of the red grease. You'll see very quickly it melts readily and didn't take too long at all. I'm also going to then melt some of our grease. The first thing you'll notice is that it takes longer to melt, it will melt, but it takes a bit longer. So I'll move that to the side. And what I really want to show you with the melted grease as well, very important is hopefully you can see there, the grease is really, the oil has come out of it, it's very waxy now, and it doesn't resemble the same quality of grease it was before. If I take a little bit of it, you'll see what I mean. If I try and move my fingers apart, there's no stickiness to it. It's lost a lot of its integrity. Whereas if I take our grease, you can see it looks better. And then when I move my fingers apart, uh, it's still tacky. It's still in the same condition. And that's called heat reversion, which means the grease returns to its original state after melting. So this is a demonstration to show how the grease is going to perform in wet environments. Now this could be the equipment outside, outdoors, or just being washed regularly in the workshop. So I'm going to take a little bit of the red grease I used before and just pour some water into the palm of my hand with that grease. And then to start working the water into the grease. And as I, as I agitate it, you can see the water starting to work into the grease and the colour really lightening up. And also as I press down you can see a lot of the skin on my hand there. It's push, pushing the grease out and not a great deal of water left behind. So now I'm going to take some of our grease, do the same thing, smear it in my hand, pour the water in and start working that water into the grease the same way I did before. What you'll notice is a couple of things. Firstly, the grease won't change colour. Secondly, you can't see the palm of my hand because I can't push through the grease. And then you can see how much water is left pooling in the middle of my palm there, so it hasn't broken down the grease at all. So this demonstration is designed to show you how the grease will perform when there's a lot of contaminants. Now this could be sand, dirt, grit, usually in an outdoor environment. And what I have here is two piles of sand and then on my Two index fingers, I've got the red grease and our multi-purpose grease. I'm just going to dip those fingers into the sand, coat them nicely with the sand, and then just start rubbing between forefinger and thumb. And very quickly, I can feel the protective coating that the black grease is providing. I can feel much smoother, and I can really feel the grit with the red grease. So I know this black grease is giving me more protection from those grains of sand. 